In this video, we will be studying about the standard deviation, variance, and coefficient of variation, or you can also say as coefficient of standard deviation. So this is your absolute measure of dispersion, whereas this is your relative measure of dispersion. So now what is standard deviation? Standard deviation is the square root of the sum of the squares of deviation taken from their mean value. This is the x series. If you take deviation from its mean value and you do this square and you do the sum of this mean value, you divide it by total number of observation and its square root. So this is the standard deviation. Standard deviation is the most satisfactory scientific method of dispersion. It is widely used method in statistical analysis. So there are three different methods, direct method, indirect method, or you can say shortcut method, and the step deviation method, to calculate the standard deviation in the individual series, The second one is discrete series or the frequency array and the third one is continuous series or the frequency distribution series. So this is the standard deviation. Then from first we will calculate the standard deviation. After that if they have asked you to calculate the variance. So variance is another measure of dispersion. The term variance was first used by variance. The term was first used by R. A. Fisher in 1918. So variance is the square of the standard deviation. You will find out the standard deviation. You denote standard deviation by sigma. So this is the sign to which denotes standard deviation. So your variance is nothing but the square of standard deviation. You have to find out the standard deviation. Let's suppose your standard deviation is 3. So your variance will be 3 square which is 9. So this is as simple as that. Now what is coefficient of variation? See it is the relative value of standard deviation. It was first given by the famous statistician Carl Pearson. So it is also known as Carl Pearson's coefficient of variation. Now what you do CV, you denote coefficient of variation by CV is equal to your standard deviation divided by mean into 100. 100 we do in order to find out in the percentage form. Right? So standard deviation divided by mean into 100. So if a question is given to you, you can, and they have asked you to find out the standard deviation, so you can first you will be finding out the mean. Then you will be finding out the standard deviation out of it, then variance and then you can simply find out the coefficient of variation. So these all are related to each other. Merits or demerits of standard deviation. See it merits is, it is based on all the values of the series. It is the certain measure. Standard deviation is a clear and certain measure of dispersion. It can be used in all the situations. Little 
effect of a change in sample if you change uh, if you make some changes in the sample then the uh, standard deviation is least effective it, is, it has very little effect on it algebraic treatment it is further eligible for the algebraic treatments to draw some further results then the demerits are it is difficult to calculate the calculation is a bit difficult as compared to the other measures of dispersions. More importance to extreme values. Now, the calculation of standard deviation, extreme values tend to get greater importance. So in this video we have learned about the standard deviation and how to calculate the variance out of standard deviation and then coefficient of variation which is also known as the Carl Pearson's coefficient of variation. I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.